Well, this is a heartbreak. India has suffered a loss. We have lost that match to England. We have suffered a humiliating defeat in the T20 semi-final. England beats India by 10 wickets at the Adelaide Oval. Uh, as we were telling you earlier, that this was clearly something, uh, and the writing on the wall. K. Uh, Srinivas Rao and Mr. Manindar Singh is joining us on the broadcast. Srinivas, coming to you first. As you said earlier, the writing was on the wall. Here it is for us. Srinivas, can you hear me? Am I audible to you? Yeah, I can. I can. Uh, a humiliating loss for us. I mean, uh, uh, this clearly didn't go in any way for India. I mean, it wasn't even a brave fight that we put up. Yes, um, uh, you know, uh, and, and uh, there's no one single explanation to why uh, this is the case. Uh, you know, it's a gamut of things that are all, all come together. Uh, all come together to point out, uh, you know, the, 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 uh, what was missing in the India ranks. First of all, the, the, uh, the batting lineup that you're against, the two English openers that we've seen in action just now who's, who won the game for England, they're not just the best uh, batsmen in England, the best openers in England. They're the best anywhere in the world right now, you know. They're the benchmark of T20 batting that you're looking at. So any kind of mediocrity runs into those kind of batsmen, you know, the mirror gets shown to you right then and there. That's number one. Number two, what kind of an attack, what kind of a team that you went with? It's all now showing in a game where a challenge is right in front of you and it mattered, you know, until now, and I was saying this, until now, what exactly had India accomplished in this World Cup so far? That one win against Pakistan, which hid everything, you know, and we were so jubilant about that fact that we had won over Pakistan. But other than that, we had not really come in against, uh, into, you know, come uh, against a team that was in rollicking form, like this England team. You know, uh, South Africa, probably slightly better. And, of course, on a given day, we lost. Uh, you know, otherwise, which are the teams that we've, uh, you know, kind of beaten? Uh, Zimbabwe, Netherlands, Bangladesh. Bangladesh, again, it was a rain-affected game. So, we truly can't say which way that game could have gone. So, you know, a win against Pakistan really hid things. And uh, now I think things are there in front of us for us to see. And, you know, this, it's, it's, a, it's a realistic picture that's in front of us. Uh, you know, well... Hello. Welcome everyone, I'm Shivani Gupta, I'm joining you live from the Adelaide Oval where it's been an absolute decimation of the Indian team by the English team who have beaten India by 10 wickets with 4 overs to spare. The target that India put up of 169 was always going to be 10 to 15 runs short at the minimum. It's not even a competitive score at the Adelaide Oval, it's a par score. Uh, anywhere around 180 to 200 is what was required and it didn't come on the day despite two good knocks towards the final overs from Virat Kohli and Hardik Pandya. And the bowling came absolutely undone today against two of the most attacking and explosive batsmen, opening batsmen that the world can see at this stage. So both Josh Butler and Alex Hales, really the kind of performance with which you would want to enter a final, it is that kind of a performance for them. And they will be clear favourites in the final against Pakistan too. But let's talk 